Hello again, everybody. Welcome once again to another episode of Whatever You Want This Show To Be. I'll be your host for today, Christian Tejares, and with me is my co-host, Christopher the Nonstopper, the King of the Ring of Conversations, and Joe Bill Banter. He's too early for tomorrow, and tomorrow is too early for him. The great Christopher Short. Hey, Chris. Thanks, man. Yeah. How's it, How's going? it going? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Over the past weeks, like R.I.P. Drake. <laughs> yeah, I just like, watched have the been, videos. Have you been catching up? A lot of Drake media now. Yeah, I I watched a video uh, uh earlier where um what's his name? There's this guy in Canada in Toronto. He went around asking if uh Drake or Kendrick, and he got some interesting responses. Was it majority of Drake for Kendrick? Yeah, and he's in Toronto. <laughs> the but... West Coast invading Canada. To be fair, you can make those videos like you can you can just use the people that said Kendrick, right? Like, obviously, you can make it look one way or another. But I think he did really good with the non-biased. A um, couple of people and made would, explanations and stuff. It was interesting. And you would think some of those people that were asked were actually just trolling. Like... Yeah, you'd be surprised the amount of people that chose Drake just because he's from, you know, like you got to support your hometown whatever whatever it's like bro <laughs> like the allegations the one lady had something really i thought really good to say about the whole drake and the children type thing <laughs> where she was it like never actually answered by the way <laughs> yeah where she was like i would rather believe a liar than a pedo oh that's just sad right you know because well, you know what if if, you know, I would much rather say, oh, I thought Kendrick was telling the truth and then come to find out he's not rather than, oh, I believe Drake. And uh, uh, apparently it's true. Yeah. How would you even prove otherwise? Right. <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't know. Like, like, how would you bring up receipts for that kind of thing? I'm interested to see how his next project, how both of their next projects do. Like, will Kendrick's go up? Will his go down? Like. What's going to be like the, because that's really what it's all about, right? Yeah, but K Dot did mention that the, how many diss tracks did he actually released? Was it five? He oh, mentioned was... that he asked five more, which is exactly how many uh, a, an album contains. Like, yeah. is it just going to be containing all of Drake diss tracks on that album? That would be a first, an entire album dedicated to dissing one person. And Taylor Swift spreads it around, right? Yeah, yeah, she does, yeah. <laughs> That's but a good people, point. People tend to forget that diss tracks are, are not just confined to rap. Yeah, you're right. Taylor Swift built her whole career on diss tracks. But they're they're subliminals. She I never like think... she never like directly says anyone's name, but everyone knows who. Even if she doesn't actually directly tell the name to people, like everyone knows her life because she's pretty much in the limelight every time. Yeah. Especially her relationship, so I I seen a report on uh on something I don't remember where it was but it was like Taylor Swift has a hickey after a weekend with Travis it's like okay how is this why is this news how is this a thing new album drops July fifth <laughs> yeah yeah Eminem apparently has a new one coming uh the end of May yeah was the last promotion actually the last one for the album did you see the new the new promotion from yesterday. I've seen reports regarding it. They haven't seen it yet. It's just a, it looks like a text message. And it says... He'll delay it? I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't seem like he will because the, the text message was like, and for my next trick, but you know, in the text thread, it was like uh, May 31st. And then the time on the screenshot was 12 midnight. So that's like the clues to when it's going to drop. He's really on some serial killer stuff, right? Oh, he has been. That uh, 3 a.m., and he went into a lot of serial killer stuff. Well, but now, apparently, he says this is the death of Slim Shady. So I just hope to God he's not political. Like, please don't be political because nobody gives yeah, a shit. I don't, I, everywhere. I, I don't want it in my music. It's it's the fans' fault regarding that. They, they've always criticized him of not actually saying anything in this. In this. 
I don't know. He was he was pretty vocal, man. When he did Mosh, White America, those were pretty politically driven songs, but it wasn't. I think he just overreacted and did an entire album. Was it Relapse or Recovery that he did that? Oh. It was Recovery, right? Entire album on what? The entire album was straight up uh, propagandas. Ah. It's during Trump, right? He did a freestyle the and said a bunch of shit. Yeah. yeah, he did it. Yeah, and it was just not a good look, man. Like 15 years ago, you were calling everybody fag and you were murdering your mother. And now all of a sudden you're holier than thou. Like, I don't need that from you. Yeah, but people do mature. Like, we tend to forget they do. that. I know that was her, his persona before. Like, yeah. everything about music is shock value. Like, yeah, and speaking of shock value, like I don't think people will be shocked with the news that we'll be bringing to them now. Like, I might be. News today comes to us from Tech Times writer Alden Domingo, titled "AI Music Generator Suno Hits High Note with 125 Million Dollar Funding Round." Suno, an artificial intelligence model for music, has reportedly announced a successful funding round that saw the music firm securing $125 million. With Suno, users may reportedly compose entire songs using straightforward text instructions for lyric and title generation. The company uses OpenAI's ChatGPT, even though the majority of its technology is proprietary. According to the company, Suno has several consultants, including musicians, Flostradamus uh, and Free Lao. The business will reportedly use the money to expand its staff of technologists, musicians, and music makers and expedite product development. And my question for you, Chris, how hard do you think will this shake up the current landscape of the music industry? Um, I think it'll shake it up. I think it'll also... It may... Just introduce a new aspect. It's going to be kind of like when Auto Tune came on the scene. Yeah, but Auto Tune is just a segment of a music, right? People do tend to write these things on their own. That's why Drake is being grilled for having twenty ghostwriters. Right. Like, let's take the genre of hip hop in particular. Lyricism is actually the art form in itself. Right. So how how much? cred could you give someone if they use AI in their music like if you might notice who their consultants are these are DJs who mostly use technology when it comes to producing mm. their music I, yeah. I'm not knocking them for that but if you think about it if you're going to be using a laptop to develop sound basically a computer engineer with a bit of music background can actually do this at least the very basics of it but lyricism, it has to, it, it's an art form in itself. So is, is there a chance that this will just, is this the birth of a new genre of music? Like, if you think about it, did autotune actually birth a new genre of music? It's just R&B with autotune. Kind of, but I mean, and honestly, T-Pain killed the whole autotune thing. Like, he was top of the world. Uh I just watched him do, I just watched a live performance of him do, doing uh, Tennessee Whiskey. Yeah. Bro can sing his ass off. There, he never needed iTunes. Yeah, or he iTunes. Never needed, never needed, he, wasn't, uh, he wasn't the mass singer before. Like, bro, he can sing his ass off. Totally unrecognizable. But um, no, it didn't create a genre, but it did create kind of a subgenre. Like so much so that Jay Z released his own Death of Auto Tune. Because yeah, like, people were just like tired of it. But, with the auto tune and stuff, like let's give credit where credit's due. Cher actually started this auto tune stuff, not T Pain. Really? T Pain just magnified everything. Cher started with Believe, right? She never actually used it ever since. Is that not her voice? That was auto tune. Do you? She used oh, really? it as an effect rather than an, a crutch. Right. Right. It was supposed to. Auto tune was actually developed for submarines actually coincide with your sonar okay so she managed to use it in a way in music like if you think about it autotune was never actually gonna affect the music industry because these lyrics are still going to be written and created by the artists themselves like 
right. even if T Pain actually uses auto tune, he still has to do the work. He doesn't have to type what he wants in the computer, and the computer will just do his work for him. Right, 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 right. So, I mean, well, if we want to make comparisons, I think this would be. This is similar to the shift that happened in the 80s where people went from actually playing instruments to synthetic sounds. Do you know what I mean? Like, and now you have beat makers like, the, you know, they don't play instruments, but they're, you know, they know how to use the equipment, right? So I don't, can anyone make a song? Yes. Can anyone make what's going to be considered a great AI song? Like this yeah, is- regarding Regarding the beat stuff, when everything. they go to the studio, uh, like there are some people who can actually play instruments who actually produce music, and some of them can actually be like there are people who don't understand music the way musicians of a higher caliber actually do. Like mm. they can understand sound, what they hear, and can reproduce it when they're actually playing. Like when I started right. playing music, I started with that, not even actually knowing what a chord is. Right. There, there are people who create music by that. What the difference in this is, you just basically ask a program to actually do it for you without actually having any hand in it regarding the art form. So you're saying and it I, minimizes the... It's kind of an insult to real artists, maybe. In a way, yes. If they do it... Like, they have DJs that actually are part of... I guess the research team, mm. right? Some, DJs yeah. usually, although I'm, I'm a, there are some of them who actually create their own beats, but some of them actually just sample. So is this AI just going to be sampling from existing music and just bunching it up? So when is this? Because I'm interested. It's And I was looking at... Uh... So it's free. You get 10 songs a month. Yeah. Just to clarify regarding this, you know, those who sign up for the free plan are limited to 10 songs each month, which is an entire album. If you think about it, one album in a month. Yeah. The SoundCloud is going to be riddled with this. Oh, God. Right. It, those it who is... sign up... Yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. Yeah. Those who sign up for the pro and premier plans will cost $8 and $24 respectively are allowed to make up to 502,000 songs per month, respectively, and are granted general commercial terms. Now, if you browse through SoundCloud, if you browse through Spotify, like, although it's easy to create music, hmm. like, not a lot of them actually do well. Right. I figured all this would do is just create more congestion when it comes to people's choices. For sure. And I think... Just, I think by nature, this has and will create a new genre, right? And then you're going to have subgenres. You're going to have AI generated music, right? It's going to be like EDM and hip hop, right? These are different types of music. Now, AI generated music, and then you're going to have subgenres AI generated hip hop, AI generated jazz, AI generated rock. Like it's just going to be that they have to do this thing, right? You can't produce it with AI and then claim or maybe not even claim just ignore the fact that it was produced by ai right that's a little deceiving to potential fan i hope this isn't fully automated like at least have a semblance of humanity when it comes to using it like i mentioned this regarding djc do sample but they also show a bit of artistry and how they actually piece together the music that would sound a bit more different and has a much more different feel to them. Mm. Like, if I, I I can give an example, like Hadaway, uh, Eminem using Hadaway for No Love with Lil mm. Wayne, right? Yeah. Everyone's familiar with that music, but once it's actually converted to hip -hop, hip hop, the music actually feels different. Right. Because the sampling was used in a different way, in a different genre. Like, that type of thing, I think it's a good step for DJs to actually be brought in. At least it would be in their best interest for this not to be fully automated because they would also be out of a job. True. True. 
And like, where do they get, where are they, like, how did they sell this to be able to get 125 million in funding? Like who's, who's going to benefit from this? Like they have received, I guess, funding from a couple of, like they, they Suno gave a statement, like Lightspeed Ventures Partners, Matrix, Founder Collective, not Friedman and Daniel Gross, whoever these people are. Like I would give them the courtesy. I will be researching them later after this podcast. Maybe I am wrong. Maybe they are really influential and are clearly authorities in this field. But Sony is actually giving a warning regarding AI that this thing is going to be a problematic topic for musician and recording companies. Like they hire producers and digital firms to actually do the service, which can mm. actually be done for free now. Do people suddenly lose royalties because of this? Like, although, and this is Sony, by the way, they would benefit from it, from using it mm. by cutting costs. But they are at the forefront of being actually against this. Or at least giving out a fair warning to people. Well, I think I think the point you made about SoundCloud is probably the, the same direction most other people are thinking. Like, this is just going to saturate it, right? It's going to be, there's going to be so much shit now. It's going yeah. to make it even harder for legit artists yeah. to pop. Because first of all, for the first few weeks, if not months, then this is going to be, you know, everyone's going to be, I'm going to listen. I want to know what it sounds like. God damn, this was this is AI generated. This is good. Or obviously, this is you know, it, we're gonna want to explore and see for ourselves. So for the first few weeks or months, other legitimate and established artists may see a drop, which obviously is not you know, not ideal. But my question is we say 125 million. What even is that? Like yeah, that's where does that's even not, the money go? Where does even the money go from there? But I mean, I don't even think 125 million is that much anymore. Yeah, but for what user are they going to be using it for? Like, right. could the technology be that deep for them to actually spend 125 million? Well, I like guess it's that's basically this question. Basically, it's this question: Why do you spend 300? million for a movie mm. yeah to recoup like it's the similar situation if you think about it like is this just over budgeting for something that could have just cost very little like they already have the tools in there they did say they will be using chat gpt's proprietary feature for the lyrics now what scares me about that there's there are going to be a bunch of copyright claims when this is launched well, 125 million it could pay a lot in lawyer fees. Yeah, is that just gonna be the same garbage <laughs> yeah. 125 million for lawyer fees? I mean and they and take note, it's once I I guess it would be in the fine print, once people actually use this, responsibility is no longer within open AI regarding the use or Sony no. for that hmm. matter. So <laughs> it, it's a risky thing. If you're a musician, if you're a musician, you wouldn't be using this. No, I think, I mean, maybe aspects of it, right? Aspects of it, yes. But like the lyric generation, the title generation, to me, that's like. We just had a case regarding Ed Sheeran, right? Regarding copyright claims yeah. on the Marvin Gaye estate. Like yeah. his reasoning was pretty sound. Like four chords are pretty common when it comes to music, especially pop, right? Yeah. Could we still use the same argument when it comes to the use of AI? Because this is going to be just pulling a bunch of info from libraries across the internet. Right. We've already had this issue before when we discuss uh, like AI using chat. Right. On how they actually provide information regarding questions, and how it creates more confusion, how it doesn't actually give exact answers but what happens if you ask an exact answer and it gives you an exact result regarding music 
I don't know. I, I mean, I'm tempted to subscribe to this thing. Like, it's you what are, is it? Just Eight try bucks. It out. I mean, it's Eight dollars. You know what I'm saying? Or even just the free one. I mean, I still get ten free songs. Yeah, like I said, it's an entire album for a month. Yeah. And it may be interesting. Oh, Suno's already up. All right, let's see. Uh, make a song about anything. Oh, shit. All right. One advantage I can see of this is it would make it would be advantageous for really good artists, like uh, undiscovered ones who actually have an ear for music. Hmm. But it would also cause a lot of ears to bleed if the bad ones actually create 10 a month. Right. Uh, I'm going to play with this after this, after we finish here, because I didn't realize it was already up and ready to be used. But, um, I mean, creating one. send it to me and let, I guess in the next episode, let's try playing it. All right. Yeah. We'll make see one if, about, uh, see if what other music it actually sounds like. Yeah. I mean, there's no copyright infringement there, right? Like it's mine. Yeah. Until someone actually claims it. Like there are <laughs> artists right now that are being haunted by copyright claims from the 1940s and the 1950s. Right. Without them actually intentionally doing it and are not familiar with that song. Like, I don't know the case of Mark Ronson regarding Uptown Funk and whether he's actually aware of it. Mm. Like, that's another case. Yeah. Yeah. Bruno, I, well, no, I think Bruno did. I, I think he didn't realize what he was doing. But he he didn't. The problem was he didn't give props to anybody. Like no name drops, no nothing. Do and you it think was he's, he was aware because Mark Ronson was the one who produced the beat for that that one. Well, there we go. Mark Ronson. What is he? Colonizer? Is that the word we use these days? Mark Ronson, <laughs> colonizer. Yeah. Right. He's a white dude. Right. Is, is he a vult culture vulture? It reminds me of the current internet beef between two YouTube rappers right now. Mm. Like the main angle is a black rapper versus a white rapper. Yeah. Racist and... angle versus a colonizer angle. Like after three songs, I actually tuned out. Yeah, it's uh it's weird. I didn't like it. Like it's gonna be interesting right now that this is actually coming up when Drake is not no longer in the picture. He could have used this. Right. <laughs> it might be more budget friendly for him than having twenty ghostwriters. True. Eight bucks, ten songs. What a steal. Yeah, okay. So you can okay, just for the podcast. Uh so if you want to use custom lyrics, right? Uh yeah. please accept our you get this this pop-up, um, and you have to accept. Suno is designed for creating original music. Please confirm you will only submit AI generated lyrics, original lyrics, or lyrics to which you otherwise hold rights to continue. Or hold rights to continue. Yeah. So there is this, yeah, except. What does even original lyric actually mean? Well, I guess you can't like go to like lyrics.com or whatever and just copy and paste somebody else's lyrics from a. But from there a, are no to this. You know what's the most overused bar when it comes to rap? What? I'm playing chess and you're playing checkers. That's a yeah. That's one yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> you you could already imagine if it's gonna be having <laughs> that type of lyrics. So when it comes to custom mode, you start with lyrics, and then you choose a style, and then you extend your song. I think I've seen some of some of these. Like there are Eminem type AI generated music online. Uh, enter style of music. Oh, I can just enter whatever I want. I can do the title. Okay, yeah, I want to make one of these uh, later when we finish here, just to see, see if it's any good. And yeah, maybe we'll we'll play a snippet in the the next episode. Then we got cap a copyright claim, right? <laughs> we can do a uh. Our intro, you can do like an intro for the the yeah, yeah. for the podcast. I see that. Hopefully, yeah. it turns out good, right? Oh well, or I mean, this, I get ten, I get ten chances. I get ten chances this month. 
Okay. <laughs> so, it is know. it is really kind of tempting if you think about it. Right? I mean it's it's great. It's 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 fun if nothing else. Think It, about it. You can make a song for your wife. You can make a song for your kids. You can make yeah. a song for your birthday. But when we actually previously discussed regarding AI being used for another media, there will also there will now be a tagline on whether an artist is actually really good or is it AI actually doing the work. Well, I think um, I think artists will. I mean, it's a competition now, right? It's you know, Yes. it's it's um, you know, it's uh, what's his name, Paul Bundy versus the Chainsaw. Yeah. Like before, the competition was actually album sales. Now it's just legitimacy of being a musician. Yeah, and you're going to have the purists that say I don't listen to AI music, and then you're going to have you know Gen Generation Alpha who's never heard a, an original song in their lives. Yeah, and we don't have a definition regarding AI music because what is even the difference of it? Mm. I That's mean, should why. there be a tagline like DJ Khaled? Like every time a song comes on, it's like this is AI generated, and then it goes into like. <laughs> If you think about it, there should be, right? Like a digital fingerprint something of some sort for these type of music. because i mean how's this gonna are we gonna is there gonna be a is there gonna be a category at the grammys for best ai generated song you know what i mean like where does this end Who's gonna who's gonna be the presenter, Siri? Like yeah <laughs> hey, hey. siri and alexa squabbling Siri and Alexa. a little bit um i mean and then you Be like you look at you look at like movies Tina Fey. Right, you look at movies, you can pay nothing, basically. And you can do your whole soundtrack for a movie for free. Ten songs. Yeah, have we You don't ever have to. had an AI generated movie before? Oh, I guess so. Captain Marvel. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. AI should be embarrassed. Like, in all seriousness, have we actually experienced AI being used in media? In at least commercial ones? I mean, We haven't yet, right? no, not Or that have I know. we? Like, at least if we, we have, we, we had no idea it was. Like until we get an example regarding this and how it how the market actually reacts to these type of content, particularly when it comes to music, when it comes to film. Hmm. It's gonna be an uphill battle for I think those that are actually still doing the work when it comes to creating music. Because anyone can actually dish out ten songs. Right. In a day, and I'm gonna they tell will you right now. be competing competing on the same playing field. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be insane. It's gonna be you know like uh, you know, can you defeat a, a thousand chickens? Right. It's gonna that's what it's gonna be. It's like the 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 sheer number of competition is gonna be, is gonna make it incredibly difficult. Taylor Swift going on Sono write ex boyfriend songs, <laughs> creating <laughs> yeah. ten But songs. <laughs> The good thing is, uh, this is all fairly new. So if you want to get in and get a an at a handle and a screen name that doesn't have numbers in it, now's your time. Yeah. I mean, you could go right now. You could probably be at John. You know what I'm saying? It would be like the most common name, but you can get in there now and get it. Taylor You know, Swift. How aggressive you could probably do you get want Taylor to be? Swift. <laughs> do you want to name drop that person? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play with it here after we finish, and <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. anyway, we're going to be monitoring this topic for, I guess, for the next couple of months until we see the bigger picture when it comes to these things. Yeah. But hopefully by that time that this becomes mainstream, at least the government and the agencies actually involved in regulating music actually has a definite rule when it comes to the use of AI Mm -hmm. when it comes to producing music, and as well as to be fair to the artists that were there before this actually happened. Right. right? Because people will be mad at award shows if they were beaten by Siri. I mean, they're already pissed.
or bass oh. band boy 69 like yeah yeah so that's a good yeah. handle you should you should grab basement, that up more you can basement boy 69 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's already you, two times though you just put out like uh christian music christian lyrics to the to the sound of porno music that would be great mom i'm in the basement <laughs> just leave the ramen <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, yeah. hopefully our audience actually enjoyed whatever the show is <laughs> yeah. well we're, we're more evolving maybe like we're pretty much trying to make these stuff fun and yeah. hopefully you guys like it if you have any suggestions uh, you're free to make them we promise to read them and the best <laughs> with the best interpretation that we can so <laughs> <laughs> so bear with us anyway yeah. again Thank you for watching Tech Times Daily. And please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And on behalf of my co-host, the great Christopher Short, we'll see you in the next.